my number two is Midnight in Paris from 2011, uh, directed by Woody Allen, starring Owen Wilson, Rachel McAdams, Kathy Bates, and a whole bunch of great people. Quick log line, while on a trip to Paris with his fiance's family, a nostalgic screenwriter finds himself mysteriously going back to the 1920s every day at midnight. So I put this movie for kind of bunch of reasons. One of them, it speaks to sort of my way of traveling where I love getting lost in the rabbit hole of history. And which is not to say that I'm reading, you know, the notices or the maps or the guides at museums or palaces. I'm actually not a good reader, so I don't read much, but I like I feel my way through it. I imagine as I'm walking through the Louvre or wherever and looking at a setup of you know somebody somebody's bedroom and imagining oh what would it what would it feel like to kind of be in that room what conversations would you have and i think this movie does a great job of sort of just transporting you back with all these amazing you know giants and icons of literature and music and such just sort of in regular settings where they're just having parties and dancing around and having conversations and you sort of get a bit of a peek into that world and i i just love that it speaks to me the other thing that it speaks to me on is when you're traveling with people who are not on your wavelength and i've definitely had that experience of course the movie is heightened in that regard it's sort of playing on archetypes which movies do and right. that's the point it comes off it can be a mean movie uh you know you've expressed this in the past i'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this but some of the people in the movie are just mean for really no reason but you know that to me is the joke if you will it's the point of the movie and i it, it sort of harkens back to my travels from before where I've traveled with people who are just, I'm not saying who's right or wrong, but just different and how excruciating that can be. And what comes out of it is the joy of sometimes just traveling alone, you know, and what that feels like. So yeah, this movie speaks to me on all those levels. Um, clearly this movie is in love with Paris, which I don't know, this is sort of my maybe definition of what is a good travel movie is that after the movie is over, you want to go to that place badly. You want to eat its food badly right, immediately. Right. Yep. And I think this movie really does that. Uh, the, the beginning montage in Paris and all the different places with incredible music and score and everything is just scrumptious and palpable, transports you there completely, but also establishes this conflict right off the bat the people who are romantics about travel and the people who are practical. And it's interesting, you know, I watched this movie when it came out and I loved it. And for years and years, I was team Owen Wilson because I am a little bit of that person. I am nostalgic about things. I am romantic about travel. I love walking around, getting lost on streets, talking to people at the bar, getting invited to some random party. Over time, as I gain confidence to travel, even joining those people, you know, who have just met. And that to me is, we just were talking about real travel. I call that my version of real travel, even though it's my own fabrication, but I sort of feel like, oh, I spent like an evening with Parisians, you know, at their home or at their back backyard drinking wine. How real is this? So I love that uh, for sure. But over time, as I've grown older, I think the practicalities of travel mean more to me than they did in the past where, yeah, walking in the rain, no matter where you're at is actually not great. You'll get or, wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or eat, eating French food every single day, every single meal is probably not great because I would just get bored. I would want something else. And I've had Chinese food actually in Paris, which was very interesting. Um, so I think it's sort of, it's funny how the way I've grown in my relationship with travel has changed a little bit. I still tip over to the Owen Wilson side for sure. I think I will always be that in some way or the other. Uh, but but yeah, love this movie. Gorgeously made, incredible cast. Everybody brings their A game. Um, and yeah, you get to... Like my favorite part about travel movies are when you're not just shown the sights, but you're seeing the sights through the eyes of the people who are in it. Like it's right, why right. travel shows are the ones that are good are good is because you see 
the people in the movie appreciate what they are seeing. So you sort of vicariously travel, you know, with them. Uh, and I think this movie does a great job at that. So yeah, highly recommend it. I know Woody Allen, problematic, what have you, but I think off his late career, this movie and a few others sort of are, you know, in my top movies, if you will. Um, and you can put it on any day of the week, really. So yeah. Not, not just at midnight. Not just at midnight. Any time of the day. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um, I had not seen this film before. I'll get into my thoughts like on the film overall in, in a bit. Um, but just responding. First of all, I think it's a great pick. Um, I think responding to a lot of what you said, you know, especially that opening montage. I timed mm. it too. It's like three minutes long. The movie starts no dialogue, no and no actors, anything. It's literally just like shots of, you know, Famous parts Life of Paris, Paris, just not famous parts of Paris over this great um, soundtrack, which I think was yep. definitely for me personally, the standout of the film was the soundtrack was great. A lot of, uh, you know, old timey French music from different periods. Uh, but yeah, it really did capture not only Paris, but like you said, you know, the different versions of travelers. There's the Owen Wilson, who's just there to like absorb, you know, absorb everything in the, the, the culture. Um, there's the... I guess that one of their friends who's like an academic. So he's very much like, I want to go to the museum. A and pedantic gentleman. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, My read favorite everything. Line. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. That's that archetype, right? Um, and then his wife or fian- fiance, I think, mm-hmm. um, who she's basically there doing things that she could do back at home. Like, oh, I'll just go to the spa. Oh, I'm going to hang out with all the friends I already know. It's like those yeah. types of travelers that aren't really go. They're, they're somewhere else geographically, but they're not anywhere else like mentally or in their activity. She's not like, trying to drink anything in. Um, and, the, and those three different types of traveler, um, you know, for me personally, like I've been each one of those, depending on the trip <laughs> um, and the place. Uh, but I definitely gravitate much like you more to like the, the Owen Wilson side of things in terms of how he approaches, approaches the travel. Um, so I thought that was, you know, a good kind of comment on the different types of traveler, you know, it, this could not, not, not necessarily just for Paris. It could be anywhere. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, like in terms of the, the film. Um, so again, caveat, I always have to make not a Woody Allen fan. Um, again, nothing to do is problematic. I just don't like really his films. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually a film when it came out that I remember a lot of my friends who knew that I don't like Woody Allen were trying to encourage me to see this. Cause like, mm-hmm. Oh, I think you would like this. Like, it's not, you know, a typical, whatever, like you should see this. You should see this. It was actually on a list of mine to try to see before the Oscars because it got some nominations. Um, and then I just didn't bother getting around to seeing it. So, and I just never did. Um, and, you know, I have to say it's not, I didn't dislike it. Um, I think it's, you know, some of it was a little too cheesy with the literary figures he was meeting. Also yeah. too, I'll, I'll admit that a lot of that went over my head too. Like that type of, um, uh, art, like, uh, you know, novelists and painters of that period of time, like uh, beginning of the 20th century. I just don't know a lot about it. So like, if I see so-and-so, I'm like, okay, like this is not like, I can't like respond to that or, or be a fanboy to it. Like Wilson was. Um, but you know, some of that stuff came off, you know, a, a little cheesy, but again, it's, I think it just went over my head. Um, but I did, I did like the message of nostalgia in the film. I think that mm-hmm. they were definitely trying to make that, um, point of you might think the past is better than the present right. but really it's not um yeah. which is you know i definitely agree with that um yeah. similar to like the beach in a way it's like you think something might be paradise but really like it's you know it's it's not necessarily always that no. so that that message i think was was well done and you know resonated with me um but uh yeah, well, and then, you know, you get the typical Woody Allen, like, uh, you know, a man who's like, there's like the shrew woman character that he finally gets rid of and meets like the most perfect girl that he basically designed the perfect person that he wants. Right. That's just something you find in it. So that's what happens in this movie. He loses his shrew fiance and finds like the perfect woman and this woman on the street at the end. But that's again, just that's just Woody Allen. That's that's what he always yeah. tends to do. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it, it was transportive. I mean, I've been to Paris a couple of times and uh, definitely I think captures why that city is so great and why I like, like going back to it. Um, so uh, yeah, the Paris at night is really cool. And I think that's mm-hmm. most of the movie takes place during that that time. But uh, yeah, I'm glad, glad I saw it. Um, you know, I think- I guess it was a little better than I, I don't know. I didn't really have much expectations going into it other than just my friends telling me like, you should see this. 
you just put all the Woody Allen stuff aside. I think Owen Wilson does a decent job as He's like good and very good in as Everybody's the Woody character. You know, yeah. every central character is always Woody Allen. Yep. And if he was still in his 40s, he would have played that, you know. Yeah. Um, he does a decent job as the Woody Allen surrogate in it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, if you like Paris, I, I definitely do also recommend uh, recommend seeing this. If, if not just for the opening three minutes, I thought were really, uh, really touching. I often really touching. watch that on YouTube just because yeah. I want to get transported because it's so wonderful. Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting. Like I definitely have a connection with sort of literary icons from that time. So, you know, for me, watching this movie the first time, and I still kind of catch myself in all my, all the, just the, the thought that, oh, you could meet uh, like yeah. Cole Porter, just like sitting around and like singing and playing music, like lose my mind totally, you know? So... I, I connect to that aspect. Of course, it's cheesy, but, you know, I to me, as a plot device and as a set piece from a narration narration standpoint, it does work. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the time, it's, for, for the point it's trying to make, which right. you said, which is that, you know, you can't keep running away uh, from the present. That said, the, you know, what I take away from the movie, and this is why I think yeah, he meets the perfectly designed girl at the end. I don't know if they end up together or no, but I, I do think that it it makes that subtle point. I don't know how subtle it is that, yeah, you can't keep going back to the past, but you can meet people who appreciate that and right. you can create moments of the past in the present. So the two of them bonding on Cole Porter I don't know if that's all they're going to talk about, or maybe that's all they're going to talk about and that would be it. And there, it wouldn't really be a relationship, but I think that's the part you kind of carry forward with you. Just the way you were talking about the strangers you meet, you know, when you're traveling, right. you're not from there, but you connect on something very specific. And that sometimes that specific thing can be nostalgia. You know, we all have a little bit of that in us. So yeah, I think yeah. that's what the movie tries to make a point about. No, I agree. And I think it's, again, just my, um, it's, I, it's just apparent that that it's, it's Woody Allen is always the central character in his films. And he's sort of like giving himself a gift at the end for being, you know, <laughs> getting rewarded for being Woody Allen. And that is again, something just for me personally, like, I see that yeah. in so many of his films. I'm like, I know what you're doing here, Woody. Like yeah, you're, yeah. you're inventing, you know, a scenario to give yourself a little reward um, in yeah. the form of a, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're getting too much of the Woody Allen aspect of it, but yeah, I, I think this is uh <laughs> Uh, a great movie that captures Paris. And I will say too, it's very sad seeing like the, the, you know, the shots of like Notre Dame, just based on like yeah. the fire that happened there a couple years back. It was actually, Oh man, it like made me sad to see that um, because of what happened to the, that structure. But yeah. Yeah. Hey there, it's Alex. If you like the review and discussion Kron and I just had, make sure you subscribe to our channel movies that shaped us to get full episodes. Every other Wednesday, Karan and I cover a topic around important people, places, events, and moments in our lives, and then explore it through three of our favorite movies. Subscribe right now or follow our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts via the link in the description below. Hope you join us for the journey.